Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week's video is going to be a favourites video as you can probably tell by the title. I can't believe that the first month of 2017 has already been and gone. It was a crazy month, but I do have a few favourites here to show you, so let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about today is actually a skincare item. I feel like this is one that's been really hyped up on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, basically any form of social media. And it is the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Mask. It's the silver one that once it's dried, you peel it off and basically just looks really, really cool. But honestly, I feel like it makes such a difference in your skin as well. I notice that as soon as I take it off, that the redness in my spots have sort of gone down and my skin just looks a little brighter and clearer and it's honestly just a really nice mask to use and really satisfying to peel off. So another favourite for this month is actually a book and I have to say I only started reading this a few days ago so it's kind of like a late January favourite um, but it is Amy Poehler's book Yes Please. It's been out for ages and I've had it in my um, like book collection for ages but I've only just gotten around to reading it I'm probably like just over a quarter of the way in but it's a really easy book to read it's funny it's motivating it's insightful and Amy Poehler is just an incredible human being so if you love Amy and also like where she's sort of come from like the Saturday Night Live UCB kind of background then you will love reading this book. It's so so good and I highly recommend it. In terms of my favourite films this month I would have to say 100% that La La Land is my absolute favourite. I saw it about a week ago um, and it's just honestly the best film. If you've ever had a dream to be in the creative kind of entertainment industry then you will definitely love this film. The cinematography is beautiful, the acting is amazing, the music is amazing. And that also leads me on to my next favourite. Okay, so following on from that, what I've been listening to this month is obviously the La La Land soundtrack. It is just as beautiful as the film and so unbelievably easy to sing along to because it's the music is just so catchy. Another album I've been listening to is Bastille's Wild World. I know that's been out for a while, but I just sort of got around to listening to it to it and if you love Bastille then definitely give it a listen. I'm probably very late on the bandwagon so you've probably already heard it. So I have two television show favourites for this month and the first one is the show Girls. I know it's been going on for years. Again I'm playing catch up with a lot this year already but the show is so well written and the characters are so flawed but so relatable and the storyline is just really, really enjoyable to watch. It's a really binge-worthy show. So if you haven't watched it, then get through it. I know you can. Season 6 starts in either February or March. I'm not too sure. You should probably check that. But no, it's a really, really good show. Another show that I'm completely addicted to is Saturday Night Live. I started watching it back in 2012 and I think I've just kept up with it every week that it's been on since and there are so many clips of the sketches that they have on the show on YouTube so you sort of just fall into this little black hole or this void of Saturday Night Live that you can spend literally hours in and it is the best thing ever. <laughs> Honestly it's just really funny and really smart and again really well written. I feel like my favourite sketches are sort of the ones where the characters, or sorry, the actors break character because it's just so funny. If you haven't watched Saturday Night Live, definitely give it a go because especially around sort of this time that we're living in, comedy is a great outlet for this type of thing. So give it a watch, tell me what you think in the comments because I'd love to hear back from you. So that is all my favourites for the month of January. There was definitely a lot more entertainment focused ones rather than like beauty and skincare and all that. Um, but that's just because I've been trying to consume more art, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, but if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what are your favourites for January because I'd love to 
hear from you and I'd love to get some product suggestions or movie suggestions or entertainment suggestions, whatever. So yeah, like this video, comment down below and don't forget to subscribe for more weekly content. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!